Before we side, of... oh, I, I was gonna oh, say what? before Wait. we sidetracked the sidetrack and the sidetrack. Uh, you you mentioned wanting to learn Rust. Um, before I yes. forget about it, I would highly recommend checking out a hundred exercises to learn Rust. Uh, I'll send you a link oh. afterwards. It's just a bunch of. Like it, it's it's just a hundred tests, a hundred like uh problems where you're learning different Rust concepts, teaches you yeah. how Rust strings work and how core Rust functions work and um how you know just everything you need to know about Rust at like a basic level to get yourself started. It's a great place to go. Either that or like this is a kind of more structured way than just learning from the Rust book. It gives you pro yeah, bas basically problems from the Rust book. Oh yeah. I'll check that out. What I'm probably going to do with my, like, uh, programming learning path is I'm probably going to do boot.dev for the fundamentals, finish all that up, mm -hmm. then do Rust as, mm -hmm. like, I want to learn Rust. Or maybe we'll do Rust as, a, like, an additional thing when I'm doing mm -hmm. it. Um, so, like, it, uh, boot.dev, the whole curriculum lasts about a year. Mm. So probably during that year, I'll be like, okay, I kind of know my fundamentals. I want to learn Rust, and I'll probably do that... Uh, Hundred exercises thing because if it's taken directly from the book, you know the book they call it. I'll probably do that then. Yeah, and each of the um each of the problems it links you to the section in the book that uh, that is about. So if you want to learn more about whatever it's talking about, yeah, everything's directly there. Yeah, whenever like people are going around and being like, "What is the thing I should read when learning Rust?" One hundred percent is the book. Yeah, like, yeah, they call it the book. Mm -hmm. Um. I know there was another book I was thinking of called, like, Rust in 30 Lunches or something, where it's, like, you can learn Rust in, like, little, like, hour segments every day. Because the guy wrote it when he was, like, uh, doing his lunch breaks, and he kind of just learned it during then. So I could do that as well. Like Learn Rust in a size. month of lunches? Yes. Yes, okay. That mm. was the book I was thinking about. Because, like, I like my little, like spend an hour doing the, like very structured lessons mm, plans mm. what i like the most because it makes me haste and it just it works it's perfect mm. like, i don't like it when it's like okay learn the entire thing in your own pace i'm i'm really helpless in that mm. i was like i wh what what choice do i do do i do these two in a day do i do three in a day? no if it's like this is day one this is day two this is day three mm. i'm a lot more willing to do that yeah, I think we'll get way too hung up on the resources themselves. It's like, oh, what what one should I pick? I think yes. what you should pick is the one that you're going to finish. That yes. like at, at the end of the day. Like whether it's with programming, whether it's with language. Like we will talk about, oh, Duolingo sucks, but like, yes, it does suck. But you don't have to just learn from one thing and Doing something is better than doing nothing, right? Well, I recommend if you want to learn, like, very basic, like, if you want to fucking Spanish, I guess, do Duolingo, but, like, Japanese, Japanese from Zero, end of story, bye. Mm -hmm. Not, what is it, Genji, or whatever the fucking other thing people recommend? No, it's Japanese from Zero, I have some of the books. Mm -hmm. You do, basically, like that. I need to get back on that series, it's great. Um... That's what you learn for Japanese. And he also mm -hmm. has, like, Korean as well. He has, like, some Korean books. It's kind of neat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it also has an anime person on the book, so you wow. know it's quality. Wow. That's how you... <laughs> like, if, if you're showing the Japanese from Zero book covers on screen, mm -hmm. you know the characters that are showing up on each book? Apparently, he got the dudes who made Steins Gate to design the characters. Sure. Sure. All of them okay. apparently is really neat. That's cool. He's also a massive weeb. Wow, I would never have guessed. Yeah. Um, that's what I'd use, but like I think program was on my first step. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, like, another well, thing... I, what... Ooh, oh, go on. I was gonna say another thing that you know is high quality when they have anime goals on it is um there is a section of the audio market called Chi Fi, which is Chinese hi-fi audio, and basically every single company puts an anime girl on the box. It's just st industry standard practice at this point. If I find like a webcam or piece of equipment that's like, here's an anime girl on it, I'll be like, okay, buying it. 
Yeah, that's how. <laughs> Put yeah. Miku on your microwave. I'll buy it. Put Kasani Teto on your fridge. I'll buy it. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs>